into the glass, swirl it around, as I said to you before, throw it out. Because you want to get rid of any odours that are perhaps on the lip of the glass. Swirl it around, bring it up and say, hello. Then you go back to it, how are you? And then go back to it, quite well, thank you very much. Now remember, get into it. Don't go like this, none of this stuff. You want to get right into it to make sure that you're actually examining every part of that whiskey. How do you taste it? Don't knock it back like a cowboy. Take the water, but don't just pick up a jug like this. What you need to do is to pick up a jug with your finger in the water. Why? Because you want to test it. Why do you want to test it? Because many barmen, unfortunately, stick their jug under a hot tap by mistake, and therefore, this is what ruins whiskey. Six times I've now ruined my whiskey. Six times. Twice in America, once in France, once in Stockholm, and twice in England. So, you take the still water, you put it into the whiskey, reduce it down to 35% alcohol. 35% alcohol is the ideal strength for really bringing out the whiskey in the palate. Put it in the mouth. And then let it go down. Absolutely fantastic. If in fact I hadn't added sufficient water, what would happen? 